You'd be surprised what you see on Storage Wars. Today I'm going to cover 10 crazy moments on Storage Wars that shocked us all. Welcome back to Film Vert, let's get into the video. Number 10, Vintage Dental Equipment, Very. Every now and then the show will feature an item so ridiculous it almost feels as if it can't be real. As the winning bidders scour through their storage units, they end up coming across something that has no reason being in there. And that is where the idea that show is fake. However, having never denied the claims that the stuff was fake, A&E continues to air the show and the bidders go through the same routine over and over. They buy a locker, find one rare item, and get it appraised. Barry found one in Season 2 when he came across a box with vintage dental equipment. Inside the box was a tooth puller that was 200 years old and basically just loosened the tooth before pulling it. Talk about painful. Brand new, whatever it is. An umbrella. Oh, it is. But it's one of those for- Number 9, Human Skeleton, Dave. When going through a locker, Dave Hester found himself uncovering something very scary, a collection of human bones complete with the skull, hands, and arms. Everything was there to complete the set of bones and create a perfect human skeleton. For his sake, he brought to an expert to get details about whether or not it was real. The bones were real, but they were not part of any kind of malicious event. They were used for medical schools or universities to study the human skeleton. The expert knew it because of how they were professionally cleaned and had nylon strings keeping them all together. He walked through with a human skeleton worth $1,670. Out of my face. Do you want to know what? I'm not afraid of you. What a piece of I know. Getting in a woman's You're gonna face. You're going to fight a woman. For eight, chicken eyeglasses, Barry. Barry is always coming across something that is either unique or strange. Yep, those words mean the same thing. But when it comes to Barry, each one of those words can be used to define different things. When he bought a cheap storage locker for $350 and almost finished looking through it without any luck, he came across a box full of these weird little glasses. As it turns out, these glasses were once used in the 1940s and 1950s for chickens. That's right, chicken eyeglasses. The owner would put them on the chicken to prevent each of them from pecking their eyes out while also being stylish. Yep, stylish. It was a unique way to accessorize your chickens and Barry hit the mother load, making $500 on the lot. Glasses on the beak. Okay, you yeah. got it? Yeah. I think so. Number 7, Stripper Pole, Renee. The idea of a stripper pole was not crazy at all, but then someone decided to start selling them on the mainstream so people could use them at home for exercise or whatever other reason they wanted. But when it shows up inside a storage unit, it is no longer attractive. It is actually quite sad. Who would put something like this in a locker and forget about it? Why would anyone do that? What the hell? Number 6, Wooden Bus with Glass Eyes, Fairy. This was one of those items but we had no clue what to call it besides exactly what it was, a giant wooden head with these creepy glass eyes. It was hidden inside a locker that was won by Barry, who arrived late to begin with and was just trying to catch up. He bought an apparently useless locker for $1,525 according to everyone else, but Barry had spotted something that he just had to own. It was a small box that was hidden in the rear of the unit. If you know anything about Barry, he loves to buy vintage boxes, especially when they're closed. After he discovered this wooden bust with a full set of teeth and two crazy glass eyes, oh, and did we mention the window into the brain in the back of the skull had an Obi-Wan Kenobi looking figure starting out of? Bucks. Hollywood Barry, your way, 550 bucks, 550. So the psychic said there was this dark, mysterious feeling. Number 5, Breast Enlargement Machine, Dave. Dave Hester has a way of annoying the competition and a lot of the show's fans, but he is actually not a horrible person. When he is away from the pack, he is quite the comedian. You just have to pretend you don't know who he is. That is, except for the time he went to a beautiful plastic surgeon with a breast enlargement machine he pulled from one of his storage lockers. He kept saying he planned on using them for his own personal entertainment after he found out what they were. Oh Mary my god. He is front on a chair. All right. I'll agree with there's no bull- Number four, whale in a jar, Brandon Sheets. When Daryl Sheets and his son Brandon ended up going off on their own, it wasn't to compete with one another or because they had issues. It was simply so Brandon could learn how to play the game. Sometimes you have to let children fall down so they know how to get back up again. However, Brandon was never as lucky as his father, for the most part. He did hit a few great lockers, but for his overall time on the show, he was mostly a guy that would buy duds. One time, he was rummaging through his newly purchased locker and found a jar of what he could only claim was whale stuff. Brandon didn't do anything in the end, and the fight was quickly forgotten. Slap you right in your face. Do it. You're not gonna Number three, voodoo items, Jared and Brandy. Of all the creepy things we have seen on Storage Wars, the moment Brandy won a storage unit and uncovered a deer skull, we knew something was going on and wanted no part of it, just like she didn't. As they continued scouring the unit, they ended up finding even more insanely creepy items like a bag of chicken bones, a bat on a stick, and various other unique voodoo items. I knew he couldn't stay away. Number 2, Professional Clown Costume. Clowns are creepy. 
since buying storage lockers is a big gamble to begin with because you never quite know what you're going to find, opening one and uncovering a full clown costume along with a helium tank and various other clown accessories, including shoes, has got to be the weirdest thing to happen to Kenny in his career. The knickknacks. Boxes like this always interest me. Number one, Frank Gutierrez artwork collection, Daryl. Artwork is not really a crazy item. It is probably one of the most normal things the bidders can find in these abandoned lockers. Over the course of the show's 12 season history, there have been many different units that have featured some kind of artwork or painting, but none of them ever came even close to what Daryl Sheets found in season three. He found one of the biggest collection by any artwork ever. It almost seemed as if this was Frank Gutierrez's personal locker he used to store his work. There were several pieces of art of all shapes and sizes that ended up being appraised for close to $300,000 making it the biggest find in the show's existence. Is this stuff worth anything? Considering the amount of work that I see all around this room, I would say that... This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.